hello massage nurse so now we're doing lesson eight and i'm going to be doing the muscles of hip flexion extension abduction adduction medial rotation and lateral rotation so i'm going to start with the adductors okay so there's five adductors you've got your pectineus which I, is the blue one right here it originates in the superior pubis and then you've got your adductor brevis which is the pink one and that originates right below the uh the pubis then you've got your adductor longus if remember if there's a brevis there's going to be a longus that would be the green one right here and then you've got your adductor magnus which is the massive one and that one originates from the lower part of the pubis and it inserts right here on the distal part of the femur they all insert in the femur and also it the uh, adductor magnus also originates right here from the femur so it's it's pretty wide it's underneath and you can see you know that they kind of overlap each other and you've got your gracilis that originates from the lower ramus of the pubis and it inserts at the pes and serenus so in pes and serenus remember there's three muscles that insert right here which is the gracilis sartorius and the semitendinosus all three of them insert right here on the tibia so it's very important for you guys you know to massage this area here at the pes and serenus where three muscles insert right here so for the there's five ham uh, you know not hamstrings i'm sorry five adductors four quads three hamstrings five, six deep hip rotators and oh the iliopsoas i forgot to talk about the iliopsoas the iliopsoas is really two two muscles the psoas major and the iliacus and they most people call it iliopsoas it's the main hip flexor I did not draw it on her because it's deep inside the body. It originates from T12, L1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and then it crosses diagonally, so it's on the anterior part of the belly button, and then it crosses diagonally and it inserts at the lesser trochanter of the femur it's what anchors you it's the main hip flexor it's the one that if you know that you bend over with and it also pulls you back so the i i didn't do that one but the iliopsoas is the main hip flexor okay so now you've got the gluteus maximus and medius and minimus now remember that the gluteus maximus is the most superficial it is also the strongest hip extensor the strongest hip flexor is the iliopsoas that's the one that flexes your hips right here but the extensor would be your gluteus maximus it originates from the coccyx the sacrum and all the way to the ilium and it covers all the the part of your biggest part of your glute and it inserts at the gluteal tuberosity of the femur you have the iliotibial band which is very strong it originates from the superior angle of the ilium and it goes all the way down to the lateral side of your knee it actually helps your knee brace your knee so it doesn't go out it's a very strong band then you have your gluteus medius which is you know right also originates right here from the sacrum the ilium and it inserts you know right here at the greater trochanter along with the gluteus minimus is underneath that very small and a lot of times gluteus minimus mimics sciatic nerve pain because it hurts all it'll hurt the side of your leg so be careful with you know check all the muscles out if you're having you know hip problem and remember that these muscles you, oh the gluteus medius is where you get a shot that bulky part on the top of your glute that's where you get the shot in the gluteus um, gluteus medius so you've got minimus medius maximus and they all insert right here on the lateral start by the by the trochanter so i'm gonna uh, talk a little bit more about the deep hip rotators because you have three glutes on this side and underneath that you have your six deep deep hip rotator so you have nine muscles on each side so uh let me show you that i drew that too that's what i'm gonna want you guys to do for your lesson is learn these muscles because they're very important with hip flexion extension abduction adduction and medial rotation and lateral I'll show rotation. you again 
some the movements here so when you've got hip flexion you're closing you know the hip a little bit so do the hip flexion for me hip flexion and hip extension there you go that's the gluteus maximus you got abduction abduction away from the midline adduction and then you've got lateral rotation and then medial rotation so these are the movements of the hip and next lesson i'll be showing you movements of the knee joint which will be flexion and extension which that's only that's easy because that's a hinge joint but there's so many muscles here so i hope this really helped you and i just wanted to show you the movements and the muscles okay so now on this side remember these muscles are underneath the gluteus maximus medius and minimus so you've got your piriformis which is uh, it originates on the anterior part of the sacrum this is actually the one that compresses the sciatic nerve that it sometimes it goes underneath the uh, the piriformis muscle and it looks like a little pizza slice it originates on the sacrum uh, anterior part of the uh, uh, lower part of the sacrum and they all insert at the greater trochanter of the femur then you've got your gamella superior and gamellus inferior this one's gamellus superior because it's on top and this one's gamellus inferior because it's below it then you've got your obturator externus which is originates right where the ischium is or the ischium depending on how you want to pronounce it but it's uh, right on that little uh, fossa so that's your sits bone this ischium is your sits bone so it in originates there and it also inserts in the greater trochanter then you've got your quadratus femoris and you know this is a little bit lower and it originates in the lower part of the ischium and they all you know uh, insert right here at the greater trochanter so it's very important for you to work all this out when you are giving a massage then you muscles that you use for flexion extension abduction adduction medial rotation and lateral rotation but remember that this is of the hip in lesson two i'll be doing flexion and extension of the leg so today is just the hip so for flexion of the hip and flexion means that you're just bending at the hip your psoas major iliacus tensa fasciolata your rectus femoris gracilis adductor magnus and pectineus are you know flexion extension will be your gluteus maximus the semitendinosus semimembranosus biceps femoris and adductor magnus for abduction meaning you're pulling your hip away to the side is your piriformis gluteus medius minimus maximus tensa facciolata and the sartorius for abduction away from the midline no i'm sorry adduction bringing it back to the midline would be adductor magnus adductor longus adductor brevis pectineus and quadratus femoris those remember the adductors are in 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 the medial part of the body your lateral rotation would be your gluteus medius gluteus minimus and tensor fascia latte for lateral rotation that takes a lot more which is the psoas major iliacus gluteus minimus medius uh gluteus maximus up to and, and and all of the deep hip rotators so it takes a lot of muscles to make even just one movement so this is why it's important for you to learn where the muscles are learn the general area of where they're at and um you know i i did my best to do to do the drawings it's very difficult to do the drawings and trying to figure out you know which angle we can show them to you guys and i hope this really helps you we're going to be doing lesson two next time and that will be the flexors and extensors of the of the leg which will be your your hamstrings and your quads okay so, so remember that there are six deep hip rotators five adductors four quads three hamstrings uh two uh, of the psoas major and psoas and the iliacus make up the hip flexor so you can think of them that way break them down a little bit you know because to think of 20 something muscles is really overwhelming so if that i hope that helps you this is lesson eight muscles of the hip movement and part two will be muscles of the knee movement until the next time create a great day